Hello everybody, twin flame, soul flame, soulmate and other lovers. How are you all doing? What an exciting week. It's buzzing, it's flowing, it's an amazing energy. It We went through, you know, so much. And uh, now this is the last week that Mercury is going retrograde and we're feeling the pull and the push that everything is starting to get more in relaxation and uh, more in an energy of uh, coming uh, to rest. So what does it mean for the Divine Masculine in his mind space? Um, in his mind space and we we're going into we are already in Gemini and that means two different energies working its way and um, in the divine masculine's mind space he's connecting with the Ecturians with the Palladian frequencies uh, that uh, it's the pureness, it's the white light, it's DNA healing and activation and ge sacred geometry. So he is connecting in his mind space to a higher frequency, a higher level. And um, in, that, in that space, there is oneness. There's one with source, there's uh, no uh, separation. Uh, and there's a lot of healing going on uh, of the DNA. So um, the journeying he is doing is giving him his upgrades. Um, he is connecting with the sacred geometry. He is connecting with the higher frequencies. Uh, the, the shapes. I hear the shapes and the numbers. The frequency of numbers that is repeating itself is um, in, a, in a kind of uh, vibration that is healing to him. So uh, this, the frequency he sees the things and the synchronicity he sees the things in is go becoming more and more and more and more and being aware that his DNA is shifting through that. That, he, that there is healing in those frequencies. And uh, that's why he is connecting with his Palladian um, ancestors. You know, it's, it's uh, going back home. It's going back in that, in that frequency of uh, feeling one with everything what's out in the universe. So that's... That's what is in his mind space. You know, he's thinking, you know, I can't stay here uh, in this lower frequency. I need to go up. I need to transform. And automatically, because uh, with the people he is engaging, uh, his frequency goes up. And uh, that's what the, the Divine Masculine sees uh, what's going on in his life. So he's leaving the dark times and the dark energies behind because he knows be with the people he is, I hear his soul tribe, soul family coming together, is raising his vibration and getting him out, out of, uh, yeah, I see him shifting out of that energy of, you know, uh, comfort, comfort, comfortability, comfortability. So he's shifting and shifting and shifting. He knows that he needs to get out of that comfort zone to um, um, to change and transform. What's in his mind space is sharing space. There is telepathy, there's co-creation, there's communication from the heart, and there is honoring. Uh, there's an honoring to the masculine and the feminine. He is honoring the feminine. He is honoring uh, the way she's doing the things. She, she, he is seeing her, sharing her energy, her space, her creativity, her act, 
active uh, activity uh, with other people and it's coming from a heart space and uh, that's what he sees that's what's going on is him in his heart space sharing space with other people and uh, I also see weaving the threads of energy, weaving the threads of love. Um, you know, if he's sending out the energy of love, it could be that um, there was a separation and uh, that separation was needed uh, to find out for himself um about his emotions and it could be that the emotions he felt you know were genuine and instead of thinking um out of lack or out of you know not belonging he is creating this wholeness now and that healing space where he's in that um he knows where his heart belongs. He knows who is his true love. And I also feel for uh, the, the people who are in separation that he finally found out what his true love was and where he belonged because he found out that uh, it wasn't um, the divine feminine, you know, that... Um, that was wrong all the time. He really discovered that everything that needed to change was the change within him. And, um, and he couldn't uh, share that space with her because, you know, she was mirroring him constantly uh, about the love that was lacking within him. And now because she she was redrawing herself now he is finding out that um that there is still that deep i feel that deep deep rooted love uh that he couldn't honor at that time uh is able to to be you know to be sharing sharing again with her he's longing to share that energy with her again so um so the the divine masculine within himself and the divine feminine within himself is getting more into balance so they both can share his heart his heart space and he is honoring the divine feminine within himself and he's honoring the divine masculine within himself. So he starts to learn um, to come more into balance with himself that not only just the divine masculine is taking over by control, by, um, by wanting to be seen and to be heard and to be acknowledged, he is going to do that for himself. So his inner masculine and inner feminine are coming more together. So he can give more and realize that it's not, it wasn't the divine feminine, but it was his own inner lack of his acknowledgement of his inner divine feminine energy that was really calling on him like you know i want to be seen and now he starts to acknowledge the divine feminine in him the sensitivity in him the the way of wanting to receive and wanting to give that was out of balance so for the people who are uh, in separation you know I feel this longing from from the divine masculine in his heart space back to the feminine, you know, that he wants to connect with maybe an old love, maybe, you know, a youth, um, a youth love, you know, he's going, it's, it's the energy of going back in the past 
uh, and clearing out and healing that space and um, wanting that co-creation and wanting to communicate with his divine feminine um, that he is honoring her and that he is loving her. And it doesn't mean that it needs to be from a space of I love you, but he starts to know and remember what real love is and what it meant to him. Okay. Wow, that was a huge channel. Thank you. Thank you, guides. Um, what is he, how is he seeing the Divine Feminine? That she is traveling inner and outer journeys. Uh, that she's believing in herself. And that there are big shifts made within her. She is not uh, uh, holding on to things. She is not grabbing. She is not. She lets everything flow. And because of that flow, you know, he remembered that there was a very good connection. That there was a love connection from heart to heart, from soul to soul. And that uh, his ego was taking over. And wanted to control and uh, wanted answers and wanted, you know, things. But. Now he sees that the Divine Feminine made a huge shift in the inner and outer journey. The inner journey of her soul that developed, um, developed uh, through time and space. And um, the, 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 the physical journey she is going to make. And um, I, have, I have a feeling that makes him longing, longing... Uh, more to connect with the divine feminine because he sees those big shifts and um, he wants this reconnection uh, because this is, this is the year of the twin flames coming together and reconcile and and um, not not just reconciling um, their union but it's also clearing the karma for for the greater good of all it's not just um, uh, coming into reconciliation or, or coming back together, um, you know, maybe to move on together. It is a possibility if they're both open to it because there was this huge connection together. But, you know, other energies came between, in between. Other energies came in between because they were so close. <laughs> they were so close. For a reconciliation to make things better, to um, heal and mend things that was uh, meant to be, to travel and to make the journey um, uh, stronger and going on beyond the mind space. And then uh, there was another energy that came in and that separated, that separated them. So in his heart space, he sees the, the, the Divine Feminine going on the travel, going on her journey, following her heart, following nature, following uh, her calling. And um, there is nothing else, nothing more that he wants to do than to travel with her. You know, that's what I feel in this in, 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 the, in this whole energy of journeying, journeying together. Um, the longing. I feel such a, a soul uh, energy, soul energy of longing to connect with her again. Um, and not let other and not get distracted again by other energies. That's that's what I really feel. Um, I I I hear I lo I lost my true love and I was so close. I was so close to um, go on a journey on a different journey, but I let my ego get in the way because I got more attention. Because um, I got more attention elsewhere, uh, you know. And he didn't even give the Divine Feminine a chance, you know, to heal together. 
there was there you know he didn't give it any chance because there was all already an interaction from um and it was a distraction it was a distraction because they knew if they would go on this journey together if they would do the traveling together doing the work together that this was so powerful um that that um uh, that, that you can't comprehend that you can't comprehend how strong uh they would be together after uh finishing a timeline of maybe parent uh parenting you know because their whole life would get into a next level and um i i had a feeling there wasn't enough chemistry there wasn't enough uh listening he didn't want to see the divine feminine in her original state he couldn't accept that the that the inner power of the divine feminine was so strong that um he felt left out and he knows now that it was his journey his healing uh to change that what i also feel and thank you guys to 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 tell this um no more rebounds i hear for the divine feminine no more rebounds because they um they understand when they get into a rebound that they have to build up the divine masculine and when they when they heal the divine masculine when um he is coming in with his hurt with his pain with his um woundings and that it's getting a trauma wounding and when she's healed that for him he is done with that cycle and he would move on on his own so the divine feminine says no more rebounds no more uh, i'm not going to build up the divine masculine because it's his journey and it's his task to heal himself wow that's powerful that's so powerful because if the divine masculine in in the higher realm don't get the that is on a, on his journey on his healing journey and he doesn't get the attention of the divine feminine then he is really there to heal his inner child wow 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 thank you thank you thank you and then he's on his journey so i'm so so happy and i'm so thankful and honoring the divine masculines that are getting into this journey and going into the traveling in this inner journey inner travel within himself and without himself to do the work okay so what's in the divine feminine's mind space inner child attunement they go within they listen to their inner child and it's a loving parenting and she knows that she needs to parent her inner child um that she doesn't need the divine masculine you know anymore because I had the feeling that the divine feminine was trusting the inner masculine, you know, to provide and to protect her inner child. Um and that's what the divine masculine does. The divine masculine protects his divine feminine. And if there's no safety and no protection uh from the divine masculine, the divine feminine goes on an inner journey to heal and to be the protector of her own inner child and when the divine feminine will stand up to protect her inner child like she is protecting her children uh then you will become 
uh, then you will have a warrior in front of you. You know, you will have a warrior in front of you because if she needs to protect her inner child and there is no safety from within or from the, from the divine masculine, then she will become a survivor and she will um, protect her inner child no matter what. And that will be with great force because there is no safety that the divine masculine can give her. So she has to give and protect her inner child uh, in every way she can. So, um, and that could be that there is a lot of um, a wounding going on and was a lot of wounding going on because there was no safety. And the Divine Feminine knows that. And now she is listening to herself. She is loving to herself. And she is a loving parent to her children, but also a loving parent to her inner child. She knows how to love. She knows how to nourish her inner child. She knows what her inner child needs. And, um, and she is in that loving mode. She is from the warrior and the protector uh, and maybe the aggressor in that case. She became uh, in tune with her inner child. And she gives the love that that inner child needs. Okay. And what's in her, um, in her heart space? Forgiveness. She is uh, seeing the bigger pictures. She trusts and she heals. Forgives herself for did wrong in this in this relationship she forgives herself that she was harsh on her inner child that she wasn't able to protect her uh, inner child on a loving way uh, she forgives herself for not be able you know to communicate on the right frequency with the divine masculine uh, she forgives herself that uh, he had another journey to go or, and forgives herself that she had another journey to go. Um, because she knew that she needed trust and she needed healing. And she forgives the divine masculine um, of not trusting her and not be able to heal her. So it was her journey and her task to heal herself. So that's why she says, you know, no more rebounds because I also need to heal. And we both needed this separation to heal both of us, you know, because when you're going in a rebound, you're getting the same as you always have had. Uh, you know, and you're just projecting your inner wounds onto another person that only makes the wounds of for the other uh, harder and the journey harder because <laughs> this is this is so beautiful. And I hear there is a lot of. Um, Projecting to the outer world that it's all hunky donkey dory, that they have a perfect life, that they had a perfect relationship, but the universe sets different. It's all pretending. It's all pretending. You never know what the other person feels. You never know what the other person feels. And what's going on? How does the Divine Feminine sees the Divine Masculine? That he is in a space that he is able to open his heart. To forgive everything what happened in the past. That he is seeing her now. That he is feeling her energy. That he is feeling her love. 
and that he has a right to love and to be loved. And uh, his heart is healing. His heart is healing from the past love. He, his heart is healing from this connection, what they had. So um, when these energies are ready to come together, there could be a reunion. Uh, I don't say always that it will happen. It, I know it's the year of the twin flame to come into uh, reunion with each other if you're in separation. But it could also be that it won't happen this lifetime. That the reunion will happen in another lifetime. But he sees her. He has seen her pain and he has seen her grown. And uh, because of her growth, now he realizes, you know, that it wasn't just the Divine Feminine, but it was their both, the responsibility of them both to heal themselves. And that they never knew what path they had to take for that journey. And he knows in his heart space um, that his divine feminine. Um, there is this, this connection without knowing that's a soul connection. It's, it's a higher frequency connection that knows that their hearts belong together. It could be, you know, I was longing for this connection all my life. And I keep on... Um, going back i hear the grass wasn't greener on the other side and that means that the divine feminine says okay i'm not going in that rebound again you need to heal you need to do your path you need to you know and and that's what the universal energy says you know the healing happens on both sides Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And it's all good where they are at now. It doesn't matter where. And I see uh, the Divine Masculine opening his heart to the Divine Feminine. And he wants to share that love with her. He wants to open up and say, yes, I do love you. Yes, my heart needed healing. And I thought that my heart would be healed by someone else. But it wasn't a healing. It was a fill-up, a cover-up of my emotions to run away into another direction. What I felt, I can leave everything behind and there it will be better. They will make me better. They will heal me. But the opposite happened because... The interactions of the wounded energies together made them get in separation again and be wounded again and be wounded again and be wounded again. So now the Divine Masculine said enough is enough. I'm going on my own journey and I'm going to heal myself. And when I'm healed, I'm ready to connect again with my Divine Love. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. What is supporting the Divine Feminine? The fire and the water. Uh, stillness amongst turmoil. So, in all the turmoil that happens in the Divine Masculine's life at the moment... He knows he needs to be still. He knows he needs to connect with nature. He knows that um, the lacking of energies and the emotional integration needs to happen in stillness and diving into the water and, um, uh, you know, diving into his emotions. And I feel the Divine Masculine is dreaming of the Divine Feminine. Is feeling her. Is feeling her energy. So. 
uh, yeah, there is a lot going on at the moment uh, in his in his space, and um, and he needs to uh, feel his emotions. He needs to deeply, deeply feel his emotions, and um, then integrating these emotions. Not saying, okay, those emotions, um, I don't want to feel them. I just let them go and and. Um, um, how do you call it uh, rationalize it he needs to feel feel deeply deeply and then in the deeply uh, energy the fire is coming up it could be that there is anger coming up because of this relationship the anger towards himself the shame towards his, himself um not be able to making the best of it because there was a distraction. So he needs to put in the work for himself. He needs to feel it, everything, instead of projecting it to the divine feminine or to other people around him. You know, he needs to be in stillness, not, um, I also hear substances, don't use any substance, you know, uh, that makes you addictive, you know, uh, that uh, keeps you away from your emotions, that, you know, take you into another space, but you need to sit, sit still and feel all of it. Okay. How does he see the Divine Feminine? He see her rising to Palladian frequency in the relationship. He knows he has a sacred bond with her and that the healing clears the space for higher energies. Okay, that's, that's exactly what I already channeled. So they, they know both of them know that they have a sacred bond that it's uh that's from a it's it's binded by a higher realm it's binded by a higher frequency um that they gave the word to each other uh in a sacred ceremony and that um that bond is still there if you if they want it or not you know that bond that sacred bond is holding them to their vows um and there are healing the healing clears the space for higher frequency for awareness for a higher awareness and that it wasn't just um a separation of the masculine and the feminine. It was a separation uh, to clear a karma. It could be that there was a huge karma clearing for both of them and uh, that they see beyond this um, energy of you were wrong, she was wrong, he was wrong and it's it's all out of of that that level low frequency they both see it now as a higher frequency that they had to clear karma not only for for them both but for a whole collective because the whole collective needs to change needs to be aware of that there is more than just you and me that there is more at stake, that there are more energies are influenced by this. And that's how he sees the Divine Feminine, that she raised her energy and that uh, a lot of healing and the space is cleared between them and that there is more energy now coming um, on the same frequency to come in alignment and that make reconciliation possible that doesn't mean that 
it will be, you know, that way. Because sometimes um, one soul is older than the other soul, and the soul, other, the, 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 the younger soul needs to develop more, needs to pure, be ripened, to be able to match the frequency and the awareness and the communication and the spirituality uh, ripeness and awareness um, to meet where the divine feminine is. Because most feminine energies are further down the road than the masculines. And sometimes it's, it's equal, you know. The, the divine masculine is on a, on a grounded level more developed. And the divine feminine more on an intuitional level is more developed. But if you get them together, they get it all back in balance. Okay? So, what supports the Divine Feminine? Cosmic Soul Source. Source of all. She knows that's that the true home. And just being, her, just being who she is. And connecting her heart with the higher frequency of the cosmic. So, she knows when she is tapping into Source. Tapping in to the cosmos, that she is home, that her heart is home, that she is in alignment, and um, and that that's the true connection, that's the true connection um, of being sustainable, sustain herself to be the, authentic, the authenticity of herself, of her soul. So she knows that there is no attachment whatsoever that uh, she can let go of all attachments. She is not attached to trauma. She is not attached to past lives. She is not attached to uh, material, she's not attached to anything. And she goes with that flow. And she says, okay, when we come together, you know, we can stand next to each other. And I don't attach to you. Because when I start to attach myself to you, I will give away a part of me. Uh, I give away my power, my inner power. I give away my energy. So I can't attach to you. You need to be strong enough to be non-attached to me. We Then we can come together. If you are not attached to me and I'm not attached to, to you, then we can hold our own space. And be responsible as healthy adults that heal their wounds and see beyond everything that is holding us attached, that is holding us uh, in a neediness towards feminine or masculine energies or addictions or... Uh, love that we that we had a feeling that we were lacking he can hold that space for himself and the fine feminine does the same it's a place beyond survival and that's how the divine feminine sees the divine masculine that he goes beyond space beyond survival that he is a peacemaker through the inner and outer space peace he is through inner peace, he will be a peacemaker. And he is uh, resolving Asian splits that he wants to resolve splits that happened in the past, that he wants to make amends, that he wants to show her how he cares. He wants to show her that he evolved beyond. Uh, his survival mind 
that was needed at that time for both to um, evolve, for both to be in their strongest and their most giving and loving energy they could be. So there is no survival mode anymore. You know, it's no not a survival mode or of I need you. You need to take care of me because I can't do it for myself because you need to protect me. Uh, and that's all the expectation, expectation, expectations. So when they come together, the only thing what they need is to know their needs. What are your needs? Am I am able to meet your needs? And if the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine says, okay, you know, I'm not able to meet your needs at this moment. I need to let go till you're healed. Because otherwise I can't give you, I can't give you my love. I can't give you my energy. I can't give you my frequency. Because you're not able to receive that at that moment of time. And then... Then you're going beyond that survival mode. You know, you're going beyond that survival. And then when you go beyond that survival, there is peace. You can go in peace. You can leave it behind. You know, it's, it's, um, it's the inner peace you feel when you're just with someone. You know? And then... When you just can be in that space of being together and being yourself without any expectations, then you're going beyond the survival mind. But know that there were other energies at play that needed to separate you. And on another level, on a higher frequency, on another timeline, in another space, doesn't mean it is this space. It, it doesn't mean it is this lifetime. They come together. Okay? Because it's beyond the third, the fourth, and the fifth dimensional realm where their souls are connected. You know, they both jumped in and said yes okay when they came from their their lives were already planned their their blueprints and were already made so we don't have the control and we don't um make anything happen even if we think we make things happen we are not in control you know People are getting on your paths because you have to solve something. Something more than just what is and what meets the eye. It's beyond and higher and higher and higher involved for the greatest good of whole humanity. Okay, and I keep it with that. Let's see what the universe has to say. About this connection. What brings them together? What do they both need to know? The masculine and the feminine. <laughs> the breath of the cosmos is in control. Nobody else. Let's see. Where is it? For the Divine Masculine. Star Family. Mm. Beautiful. They know their Star Family. And the Divine Feminine.
The Star Brothers. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. It's an extended reading again. So if you want a reading from me, you know, you have to email me because there's a waiting list at the moment. So if you want on the waiting list, let me know for your reading. If you want to know the blocks of your Divine Masculine, if you want to know the blocks of your Divine Feminine, if you, know, if you want the counselling... You come to me and you, okay. Okay. What the universe is saying about the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, what brings them together and what they need to learn from each other is have patience. Love is patience and kind. It always is. It doesn't rush. Uh, you can't rush your healing. You can't rush uh, loving into someone. Love is just kindness. Love is patience. And it could be that the Divine Masculine didn't have any patience for the Divine Feminine. You know, um, because you never, you never grow equally. It could be that he wasn't patient enough, you know, and he had expectations of the Divine Feminine. And it doesn't matter on which level it is, physical, uh, mentally, spiritual... You know, he didn't have the patience to wait. And um, it, was the, it was the blame game, you know, you and me. And uh, he didn't see that he needed to go beyond that. And um, love grows. And love needs to grow. Even in separation, love needs to grow. You know, um, and, and when you give each other space to go your own way, then you will realize how much you cared about one another. Okay, and what is in your life and what do you need in your life? It wasn't um, the divine feminine, you know, it wasn't uh, any energies behind it or anything. It was... Everything what was going on within you. Uh, the le lack of confidence in yourself. The lack of um, trust in the other person. Uh, it could be that there was revenge in, in the mixture. You know, um, you did this to me, so I will do this to you. And then we're going in that old paradigm of fighting each other. And that we're, we're out of that game. We're out of that, that whole paradigm. So and when you are aware of that, you know, then everything will change in your life for the better. Uh, of, breath of the cosmos. My will is thy will. Mourning. Monitoring the universe. So... My will is thy will. So what you want out of a relationship, your divine feminine or your divine masculine wants the same. And the, the universe is just monetary you, uh, monetary, yeah, both of you. How you will cope with this? How do you cope with your um, emotions? How do you cope with your wounds? And uh, if you succeed to rise above uh, your own personal needs and you heal it, you know, then the universe says, okay, we bring you back together for a next phase in your life. You know, it could be that you 
need to clear out some some old uh, energies that brings you both together uh, that needs to be healed it's um yeah i i i hear uh, divine healing is now divine healing is coming towards divine masculine and the divine feminine and then they can see each other in the eye and see each other really see each other not how they want the other person to be according their needs it's really seeing each other for who they are you are my divine feminine you are my divine masculine and you are my love you are my connection you are my soul brother you are my soul you are my star brother okay and that's what i have here for the divine masculine um star family you're part you're part of a team of souls and call in your support so know that you are a part of the uh, of the star family and that you are both together of the same star family and if you need support if you need that you know your star family is there to support you in any kind of way so your souls can be healed so your souls can meet each other again oh that's beautiful thank you and for the divine masculine love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things in life that has to offer you so you need to know what life has to offer you you are worth of it because you did the work you did your part the universe is leading you to things that are greater than yourself you only have to acknowledge it and accept that help of your star family or your family or who is in your life who is connecting with that that energy so love who you are love yourself love what you want to be loved if you want to be loved a certain way you need to give that love back in first so if you want to receive love for some from someone you want attention from someone you need to give it first you need to give equally otherwise it gets in this balance you know you're giving your you want you want the attention and the love from your divine counterpart or are if you are in lack that means if you are in lack that the other person won't receive what what you want to give because you're you're not able to give because you're coming out of lack and then you know that is this it could be that there are other energies coming through and and you know getting in separation and you don't want to give anymore what do you think what happened on the other side the other person don't want to give anymore because your souls are connected and those souls knows exactly what's going on okay so if you don't want to give you won't receive you know that's how the universe works so what will support the divine feminine uh, in this case star brothers horus energy protection loyalty and silent trust you are always protected the divine feminine is always protected by the higher source um, there is loyalty because you are divine protected you giving you all you're giving your all it's okay to feel safe and to trust and 
trust in your star brothers trust in the higher realm you know and it's the Horus energy the eye of Horus that will always protect you and see through all things it's the higher view that um, and the and the energy of the gods that will always protect you um, for the divine feminine relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize that you need that you need to change. Take the strength to recognize that you need to change, and it could be that the divine feminine repeats the the, um, the same patterns over and over and over again. You know. Uh, Asking for the divine masculine to protect her. Going in um, uh, the damsel in distress mode. Going in the victimhood. Going in this energy of wanting to take care of the divine masculine. Uh, going into a motherly energy. You need to recognize these energies. Because if you don't recognize it and you're going into the same patterns. You don't change you know you don't make any change you just attracting again and again and again the same kind of people that will leave you that will hurt you that will uh, disconnect from you because of the neediness because of old patterns you you repeating and repeating again so you need to take a look at yourself what you need to change in your life. And when you recognize the pattern and you cut it off and you say, okay, this was a karma. This was a karma returning. I'm clearing that karma out. I'm done with that. Then new energies, new um, other people will come into your life that synchronize more with your energy. So it's the masculine and the feminine um, within yourself that needs to be balanced out. Okay, thank you so much for watching my readings, for your support, for your donations. Um, you know, I had a few lovely cups of coffee from the donations you sent to me. Thank you so much, Ali. You know... Uh, that that that's sending me a donation for a cup of coffee and um, i bless you all if you want a private reading of me there's a waiting list so let me know uh, early enough so you will be one of the first ones on the list that will get a reading when i'm done with the readings of june okay thank you thank you thank you um I love you all. I'm so grateful that you're watching my videos. Please subscribe and like my videos so I can reach more people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the blessings. Goodbye.